right, so now we're on to step 2.4 and all we're really doing is starting to run some of this wiring so we can tighten up the machine, get it into place and, and tidy it up a bit so we can continue building this and these wires aren't gonna be in their way or and or get damaged. So uh, if we take a look at this, uh, it has some provisions along this frame that was designed to secure the wiring harness on up. They're right here along the back side and along the side and a couple holes right in here. Let me hold up a finished printer so you can kind of get an idea of what it's supposed to look like when we're finished up. So from the back, you can see the zip tie holes. We've got external loom wires coming down here. Here's our little chamfer. So we got two sets of wires coming down through here, along here, up to the front and to our front control panel themselves. A couple little provisions right up in here for the wiring harness. And that allows this to have a little bit of slack. So as these move back and forth, the wires don't get bound up. So you're going to need the zip ties out of bag G for this process, but I'm going to give you a little bit of a hint because we've got to assemble this printer and we're going to be running more and more wires through these holes. You either got to run these zip ties extremely loose so you can fish the wires through there, or you can just actually take some of these uh, quick uh, ties that are on some of the wiring already, like the stepper motors and run them through the holes and you can just put these in loosely and as you uh, run more wires through them, just loosen this up, put another wire through and put it through. When we're done with the process, as the last, the last step, you can then go ahead and install the zip ties at the end. Uh, that, that way you're not cutting them and reinstalling them, cutting them and reinstalling them. So let's go ahead and go right to the manual and do these wires one by one. So if we take a look at the manual, first is gonna be our Y-axis stepper motor wires uh, to the back right corner, which is right over in here. Now, if you're not familiar with uh, the, the coordinate systems on CNC machines, Z is always up and down, Y is front to rear, and X is always this direction right over here. So our Y direction, which is front to rear, is gonna be this sensor and this sensor. So we need to have this sensor already run right on through here. We already did that when we installed the side panel, but what we need to do is install the stepper motor wire that goes on through there. Now it has a secure point right up in here that is gonna be secured through, but it's gotta drop right on down through this corner. Now remember I said, let's make sure that this panel was a little more loose. This is exactly why. Now as we are running some of these wires through there, they all have a little uh, paper label on them that indicate what their position or what they are on them, especially some of these wires right in here. It's critical we don't lose these because we definitely need this when we install the panel and plug these into the panel, we identify which wire is which. If you get lost or some of these get damaged, go ahead and refer to the troubleshooting section and we'll, uh, we'll show you an easy way to identify them. But uh, it's just easier just not to, to damage or lose or rip off these paper uh, uh, cables. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do since this panel is loose, is just kind of spread it apart a little bit and feed this on down through. All right, so I'm going to uh, do exactly what I said. Just take one of these wires and stick it on through. And for the time being, just go ahead and give this a, a, a little bit of a twist to secure these in as I'm laying up the wires. There we go, that's coming on down here. Nice and tidy, and I'm gonna start working my way around this way. Okay, there's another uh, little slot right down in here where these would attach to, and you can see that these come forward and would attach right in here. Um, I'm gonna go right back to the manual because I, I naturally wanna jump ahead and lay out these wires because I know where they go, uh, but let me go via the manual. So next is the uh, Z-axis stepper motor wires, sensor wires through the loop on the back side. So that's right here. This is our Z-axis motor, and so they're wanting these wires that come up over here and head this way, which includes the, uh, the Z sensor wires here and here. Make sure you take this wire around the back side of the uh, linear rod because these are going to be affixed back towards the back and brought around here and that stops this uh, print, print platform as it moves up and down to get tangled up into these wires. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and grab some zip ties for these ones. 
All right, so I'm working backwards, so it's a little awkward for me, but let's go ahead and do this. So I'm gonna just put this on through, make sure I get it through and around all of these wires. And I'm just going to give this a couple clicks so that the zip tie uh, stays loose enough. I'm going to be able to get some more wires through that on there. Now, okay, there is also a uh, zip tie slot right in here. I'm not going to put in a zip tie for this one as of right now because there's actually a wiring loom that's going to come down along here and uh, go right into this hole moving forward. And we can just secure this later. Basically, we're trying to loosely get this wiring uh, in place so that when we uh, get this all buttoned together, we can go in there with zip ties and get it zip tied on in uh, and that the wires are in and out of the way and run in the uh, appropriate close approximate positions. So let's go ahead and continue with that. We're gonna go ahead and uh, bring these wires down and around. We've got that loom in here and we've got a slot right in here. We kind of need to get these up and out of the way for our Z axis. So I'll grab another zip tie. And just run these on through. Let's bring this wire on down. Same thing, just a couple clicks on the zip tie so it's nice and loose. And there we go. Okay, now on this side over here, we've got these wires kind of basically uh, just running in place, loosely uh, zip tied in there. And let's take a look at this power wire. Now, this upper uh, uh, mount, which holds these rail points and our uh, adjustable feet for level, um, there's actually a lip that fits right up underneath here. Uh, on this particular uh, harness right here, our AC main, we want to go ahead and just tuck that up underneath there uh, and protect that, and it's just going to stay up underneath that side. This harness that's going to come up in from the top and along the bottom, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to come up underneath this rail, and that's going to keep it clear away from this. All the wiring needs to come up and around the back side of this of this linear rail. And that's a lot gonna allow this deck to go all the way in its full extent to 100 millimeters all the way down and up. So other than that, we can see we've got these coming up to the front nice and clean like that. We are ready to move on to the gantry, which is our next step.